Welcome back to our series on corporate migration to Florida. Hi, I'm Don Catalano of iOptimize Realty. Once again, to you with some valuable and quick information. In our previous video, we discussed how Florida has become one of the key destinations for businesses looking to cut their costs without sacrificing quality, actually improving their quality and their team members, their employees love it. One of the biggest reasons that companies consider moving at least some of their operations to Florida is the low corporate income tax at five and a half percent. Now, when you compare this to New York at seven and a quarter percent or California at nine percent corporate income tax, well, five and a half is almost half of that. So right away, you're saving a lot of money for your company, but it goes beyond that. Florida has zero personal income tax. So think about the impact that would be for your situation or for your employee situation. And furthermore, the cost of living in Florida is low, much lower than in the Northeast or San Francisco or California or Chicago. We're going to provide you with the essential information you need to know about six Floridian cities. So stay tuned. I'm going to talk at the speed of a New York air traffic controller who's had just a wee bit too much coffee. We're going to go over home prices, rents, local colleges, amenities, restaurants, golfing, tennis, and local attractions. So whether you're part of a large enterprise or a small business, this information is going to help make you informed decisions about considering a move to Florida. Orlando is known as the theme park capital of the world, with attractions like Walt Disney World, Universal Studios, and SeaWorld. The city is also home to the University of Central Florida, which ranks 137th in national universities. Rollins College and Valencia College also have campuses in the area. Class A office rents in Orlando go for approximately $30 per square foot. The average home price in Orlando is around $229 per square foot. Average living is affordable here as well, an average two-bedroom apartment will go for about $2,200 per month. And the average software engineer here in Orlando makes approximately $162,000 per year. Orlando has some good shopping destinations as well. Check out the Mall of Millennia. There's also the Mall of Florida, the Vineland Premium Outlets, and Lake Buena Vista. At those locations, you can find retailers such as Apple, Tesla, Louis Vuitton, Nike, Coach, Prada, Harley-Davidson, Gucci, Sunglass Hut, Columbia Sportswear, and many more. There are also some great dining destinations here as well. Check out the Ravenous Pig. They have a contemporary American menu served in a sophisticated setting. Check out Victoria and Albert's. It's an upscale restaurant at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. And if you're into waterfront dining, check out the Boathouse. It's a waterfront spot offering seafood, steaks, in a lively atmosphere. If you live an active lifestyle, Orlando's got a lot to offer. There's the USTA National Campus for Tennis. It's an amazing complex. There's also Crane Lake and Orlando Tennis Center. For golf, you have Arnold Palmer's Bay Hill Club and Lodge, Grand Cypress, and Shingle Creek Golf Clubs. There's a lot of nature to see as well. Check out Tibet Butler Nature Preserve, the Disney Wilderness Preserve, and Wakia Springs State Park. Naples is a city known for its high-end shopping and luxury resorts. Florida Gulf Coast University is one of the top schools in the area with a focus on environmental studies and sustainability. Hodges University and Marie Ave University also have campuses within the city. Class A office rents in Naples, Florida go for approximately $38 per square foot. The average home price in the area goes for about $416 per square foot. The average rent in Naples is around $5,000 per month for a two-bedroom apartment. The average software engineer salary in Naples, Florida is around $181,000 per year. As we mentioned before, Naples has a lot of high-end luxury shopping, so let's check out some of those locations right now. There's the Mercado Shopping Complex, which has Tesla, Le Sur Table, Nordstrom Rack. You have the Coastland Center Mall, which has Macy's, H&M, Sephora, and then you have the Waterside Shops, which has Gucci, Apple, Tory Burch, Talbots, and Tiffany and & Company. And there are plenty other high-end shopping destinations within the city, but we just don't have time within this video. There are also a lot of great places to eat within the city limits. There's USS Nemo, which has locally sourced seafood and steaks in an underwater-themed space. There's the French Basserette, which is a French eatery that offers classic dishes with a curated wine list. And if you're into Italian, there's Capanello, which offers upscale Italian eats in a stylish space. There's some great destinations if you're into golf and tennis. There's the Ritz-Carlton Resort, the Players Club, and the Pelican Bay Community Park for tennis. 
And for golf, there's the Tiburon Golf Club, Old Collier Golf Club, and TPC Trevisio Bay. If you're looking for nature and other local attractions, well, there's plenty to explore. There's the Naples Pier, Delanor Wiggins Pass State Park, Rookie Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve, and the Naples Botanical Garden. Sarasota is a city known for its art and culture scene, with institutions like the Ringling Museum and the Sarasota Opera. New College of Florida is one of the top schools in the area, with a focus on liberal arts and sciences. Other notable institutions include the State College of Florida Manatee, Sarasota, and the Ringling College of Art and Design. Office rents here in Sarasota for Class A office space will run you approximately $33 per square foot. The average home price here is competitive at $346 per square foot. And the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment is around $3,000 per month. The average salary for a software engineer here, $179,000 per year. There's a lot of cool stuff to do in Sarasota, but let's start with the local shopping. There's St. Armand Circle, which has a lot of local shops offering unique items that you'll only find in Sarasota. But if you're looking for something more upscale, you can check out the mall at University Town Center. There you're going to find Apple, Tesla, Louis Vuitton, and many other luxury retailers. You can also visit the Sarasota Square Mall, which features Macy's, H&M, Bath & Body Works, and many other retailers. Let's explore some fine dining options you can find here in Sarasota. Indigenous offers contemporary American cuisine in a chic space. There's also Ruth Chris Steakhouse. And then there's Shore, a beachfront eatery featuring locally sourced seafood and a great cocktail menu. There's also plenty to do if you lead an active lifestyle. If you're a tennis fan, check out the Laurel Oak Country Club or the Payne Park Tennis Center. Of course, there's plenty of golf here as well, with options like the Concession Golf Club, TPC Prestancia, and the Founders Club. There's a lot of great things to do if you're into the outdoors. There's Micaiah River State Park, the legacy trail for biking and hiking enthusiasts. And if you need something to do with the family or you just want to get out of the house for a bit, there's the Marie Shelby Botanical Gardens and the Ringling Museum of Art, which is based on the Ringling Brothers Circus. There's an interesting story behind the whole thing. Be sure to check that out if you're in the area. Melbourne is located on Florida's Space Coast, known for its aerospace and technology industries. Florida Institute of Technology is located in the city and was ranked 95th in best value schools. There is also Eastern Florida State College and New College of Florida office rents here in Melbourne are approximately $28 per square foot. The average home price here will run around $221 per square foot, which is a great deal. The average rent for a two-bedroom apartment will be around $2,400 per month. If you're a software engineer, you can expect to make $165,000 per year. Melbourne has some great shopping destinations. Check out Hammock Landing Mall, which has Ulta Beauty, Bed Bath & Beyond, Old Navy, and many more. There's also Melbourne Square, which has Dillard's, H&M, JCPenney's, and many other retailers. But also, be sure to check out downtown Melbourne. Well, there's a lot of great local shops and eateries to discover, things that you're only going to find down here in Melbourne. There's great dining in the area as well. Check out the Fat Snook, which has a unique menu and great wine selection. There's also Matt's Casbah, a trendy spot that features a diverse menu and a lovely outdoor patio. And of course, the Dove 3, a charming Italian spot with a cozy atmosphere and delicious food burn off some calories with a game of tennis at the Kiwi Tennis Club. There's also Free Ave Park and Whitman Park Tennis Center. Hit the links while taking in stunning views of the Space Coast at Bay Tree National Golf Course, Durin Hill Club, and Aqua Marina Beach and Country Club. Melbourne is home to many parks and nature areas such as Turkey Creek Sanctuary, Vieira Wetlands, and the Barrier Island Sanctuary. Melbourne is definitely a family-friendly area. Be sure to check out the Brevard Zoo, the Andretti Thrill Park, offering go-karts, video games, and fun for the whole family. Cape Coral is known for its waterways and outdoor activities. Florida Gulf University is known for its great engineering programs, which is very close by. There is also Hodges University and Af Maria University. Class A office rents here in Cape Coral will run you approximately $28 per square foot. The average home price here is $239 per square foot. And the average rent for a two-bedroom apartment will run you around $2,500 per month. And if you're a software engineer, you can expect to make $162,000 per year. There are plenty of great places to shop here within the city. Check out the Miramar Outlets, which has Saks Fifth Avenue, Adidas, Calvin Klein, and more. There's also downtown Fort Myers, which has a lot of great local shops, things that you're not going to find anywhere else. And then there's the Bell Tower Shops, which has many other high-end retailers. 
There's a lot of great waterfront dining options here. You must check out Marker 92, which probably has the best views in the city. The Merrick Seafood Company offers locally sourced seafood and a diverse menu. And then you have Fathom's Bar and Grill, which is a very chic and trendy spot with great waterfront views. Let's check out some tennis locations. You have the Cape Coral Racquet Club, Pelican Tennis Club, and Coral Oaks Tennis. For golf, Cape Royal Golf Club, Del Toro Golf Club and Country Club, and Coral Oaks Golf Course. And if you're into nature, there's plenty to do in Cape Coral. You can check out the Four Mile Cove Ecological Preserve, the Rotary Park Environmental Center, and the Serena Vista Park. There's a lot of things to do with the family, such as the Sun Splash Family Water Park. There, you're going to find a plethora of water activities and slides to keep your kids busy throughout the entire day. You can also check out the Cape Coral's Farmer's Market and Shops there, where you're going to find locally sourced items and things that you're not going to find anywhere else. Gainesville is home to the University of Florida, one of the largest and most prestigious universities in the country. Other schools in the area include Santa Fe College and the City College of Gainesville. The city is also known for its cultural offerings, including the Harn Museum of Art and the Florida Museum of Natural History. Class A office rents here in Gainesville will run you approximately $30 per square foot. Average home price here in Gainesville is $192 per square foot. If you're looking to rent, you can expect to pay $1,600 per month. Now that's a great deal. The average software engineer can expect to make $169,000 per year. But Gainesville also has other things such as shopping. Check out Celebration Point. There, you'll find a Bass Pro Shop, which is always an interesting store to check out. There's also Nike and Tommy Bahama. You also have the Oaks Mall, which has anchor stores such as JCPenney and Dillard's. And then you have Forever 21, Express, Zales, and anything else you might need. And then for that small town flair, you have the Hale Village Center, which has a farmer's market, a spa, and many local shops to explore. Gainesville also has world-class cuisine. Check out Dragonfly Sushi and Saki Company, a popular sushi spot with a modern decor and a lively vibe. There's also Ember's Wood Grill, a steakhouse with an extensive wine list and of course, delicious food. Of course, Gainesville is known for athletics, so you know there's going to be some world-class complexes here, especially for tennis and golf. Check out Jonesville Tennis Center and the Hal Brady Recreational Complex. For golf, check out the Mark Bostic Golf Course at the University of Florida. And then there's Halley Plantation Golf and Country Club. Finally, the Ironwood Golf Course. And of course, there are some great local attractions, all family friendly. Be sure to check out the Florida Museum of Natural History, the Kalapanaka Botanical Gardens, and the Harn Museum of Art. In summary, you have seen why Florida is a great value, especially taking into consideration factors such as home prices, no taxes, great warm weather, especially in the winter, fantastic quality of life. We hope that this information has been helpful to you on your due diligence. Of course, it's just the first step in considering Florida or perhaps some other great states and cities within those states. That's why we suggest give us a call. We can walk you through the process. We call it stress-free CRE. At iOptimize Realty, we've been helping corporate tenants and only corporate tenants. We never work for the landlord for over three decades. I promise you, as the president, we're going to save you tons of money. Could be millions of dollars, but we're going to make it painless and, dare I say, fun. So we handle corporate real estate for tenants just like you throughout the U.S. and, frankly, we can also handle global. We never work for the landlord in mind, in heart, and the only way we operate. So when you're ready, give us a call, send us an email, and we'll help guide you on your path to stress-free CRE. And we, together, working with you, can probably save your company many millions of dollars. If you don't give us a call, you'll just never know how much money you missed out on and also the joy of being in a place with a high quality of life and without high tax burdens, high crime, terrible commutes. You won't know. Give us a call. We'll make it painless. Thank you so much. Don Catalano of iOptimize Realty signing out.